Vaishali Siddhapa with a new topic today and please if you are not subscribed yet try to subscribe my channel for the different topics at the same time with a lot of explanation. So today's topic which I have picked that is features of indifference curve. So if you want to know what exactly indifference curve you have to see the previous classes. So the exact before this class I have explained about indifference curve and why we are talking about that for that you have to see all second chapter of consumer behavior. So let me start with the features of indifference curve now. In indifference curve, the first three features which you need for your syllabus, the three features which I am explaining now. The first feature says, I see slopes downwards from left to right. Can you see this diagram now? According to this diagram, so you have x axis and the y axis. In the x axis you have banana and y axis you have mango. And the curve shape you can see it is negative slope at the same time the shape of a curve is called convex to the origin. Why it is a convex to the origin if you want to know about it the simple reason for that is diminishing marginal rate of substitution. To understand what exactly diminishing marginal rate of substitution you have to see my last previous videos. So the curve shape is exactly the convex to the origin. So that means simple thing if you want to purchase one good you have to forgo another good. That means if you if you want to purchase more of bananas you have to sacrifice mango. If you want more of mango you have to sacrifice banana because you have limited money with you you have limited resources. In this case both will be changing. So simple what you see the delta that means change. In economics whenever we talk about delta that means you have to know we are talking about something changed here. So you can see here delta x1 delta x2 that means if you want to purchase more of banana that means one unit yeah two units getting added and you have to subtract you have to forgo some units of x1 here. If you want to buy the x2 you have to sacrifice x1. If you want to buy the x1 you have to sacrifice x2. So this way both the things both the goods will be changing to present the change we are writing delta here. So x1 x2 commodity so now what exactly is happening this is the first x before the change now the x got changed the change what we are representing here the before x2 and after changing it after purchasing x unit yeah after forgiving one extra unit so this will be the equation what we are getting so if you are thinking that why we got this particular shape of this diagram so let me tell you this is the way how exactly we got the uh, indifference curve convex to the origin but this always shows the change this always is going to show the change so this way we got convex to the origin so we will go with the next one you can see the curve shape from the left to right so we will go with the next video here the next topic the next topic here is higher indifference curve gives the greater level of utility let me tell you it is almost resemble topic for IC math this topic is nothing but IC map. So, indifference curve map. What is indifference map curve is saying talking about? So, what exactly it is? Indifference map is a family of indifference curves. So, you can see here the family of three indifference curves we have. That is IC3, IC2 and IC1. Three curves we have. Before that, let me talk with the combinations. You have three combinations here. A, B and C. You have two goods, quantity of banana is represented here and quantity of mango presented here. The quantity of banana, it is 1 and 2 and 3 and quantity of mango which is 10, 10 and 10. Let me tell you, quantity of banana is continuously increasing with the different combinations but when it comes to mango, it is constant. We are not changing mango consumption. So right now let's see the diagram how exactly we are going to construct this. You can see in the x axis we have banana which is 1, 2, 3 what we have in the x axis. We have 10 here so which is continuously distance so for each diagram we each indifference curve intersecting the same 10 
point because everywhere in each combination we have 10 only the first one is 10 the second one is 10 and the third one is so we got all three combinations which is a b c now the topic comes in which point you get maximum satisfaction let me tell you ic3 gives you the maximum satisfaction that's what why we are trying to say here higher ic gives the greater level of security that means that the ic curve which is above the first one from the upside that always gives you the maximum satisfaction than the ic2 and ic1 if ic3 is not visible only ic2 and ic1 is there so ic1 gives maximum satisfaction than the ic1 so here by keeping a uh, mango constant only we are trying to increase banana so that is our preference level so you can see quantity of banana is increasing quantity of mango is still constant ic3 gives the maximum satisfaction so in all three in any of the diagram if you get getting 4 5 ic4 and ic5 the above which you are seeing that that is the one where you going to get maximum satisfaction so now the last feature we we going to talk about the last feature says two indifference curves never intersect this is logically yes so when you are coming with the ranking so how come you going to rank two intersecting indifference curve can you see here two indifference curve you have this is ic1 and ic2 both are intersected at point a so now tell me which one is going to give you the higher satisfaction and what is your preference so you cannot rank it now quite difficult so now let me tell you a and b they both are touching the ic1 yes so you can see that now that means in ic1 a and b both in difference curves the both the points are touching the ic1 so next we are going to talk about ic2 in ic2 again 
which you have, have IC2, it was the first curve. So it is really very impossible to rank any IC curve in this one. So what we are trying to explain here, this is the right feature of an indifference curve. You should, an indifference curve, it should be like this. Indifference curve, it should be like this. But if you are getting any indifference curve like this, so then that indifference curve is wrong. So, indifference curve cannot have this particular feature. By saying this, I will conclude, conclude my classes of indifference curve. So, in the next class, I will be coming with one kind of a topic of indifference curve, which is a budget set. So, watch for the next video and wait for it. Thank you so much.